And lo and behold, Labor and the Greens didn't want to tell us. I wonder, I wonder what we can draw from that. Now, Alex, you've been asking questions about a visit to Australia earlier this month by Nina Jankowitz, the former head of the US government's disinformation government board. Uh, that only lasted for about a month in 2022 before being dissolved. It was a... Uh, widely mocked and criticised. Do we know if she met with our e-safety commissioner, Julie Inman Grant, while she was in the country? Well, look, I don't know for sure. I've seen online reports that she did. It surfaced by social media. You allow harmful content like that to, you know, to fester, you're going to have a very toxic place and you're not going to be promoting free speech. You're going to be suppressing it over time. My interest is knowing who she met with, uh, who of the government, who of the ministers, who of our statutory uh, mm. uh, bodies like the Commissioner for uh, Online Safety and what they spoke about. I mean, I think the, the timing of this visit is, is quite interesting when uh, it happened, I think, a week or so in advance of the introduction of the Combating Misinformation and Disinformation Bill. Uh, these are... Uh, people uh, on the public payroll, and uh, I think the Australian people have a right to know what was discussed and and uh, and who she met with. I, I, I don't think we can draw anything out of that, other than to say uh, it would be interesting to know what the uh, what the flavour of the discussion was. I moved a motion in the Senate to ask for those uh, those uh, documents to be produced, and lo and behold, Labor and the Greens didn't want to tell us. I wonder, I wonder what we can draw from that. And you sort of overlay that with um, fear, uncertainty, and doubt, and all of humanity on the internet, and you have the perfect storm. So we saw all forms of abuse supercharged. You have to remember, Rita, this started off as uh, the Office for uh, Protecting Online uh, Speech Against Children. She was the uh, Children's sure. Online mm -hmm. Safety Commissioner to start off with. And the mission creep on this has evolved to the point where we are now talking about online safety. We, we see this so often with laws that are designed to protect. Safety is always the issue when uh, when we see these the, the, the mission creep become real. So, look, my, my concern is for free speech, free speech generally, but free speech online as a, as a subset. And... Uh, uh, look, I, I don't want to see those powers uh, broadened. I don't want to see bureaucrats in the form of uh, ACMA having more powers uh, than we currently do if this bill were to pass. Um, and, of course, all this overlays onto the digital ID framework and, and the sorts of things that people like I and you, I might say, have been warning about for years on end, mm. which is a surveillance state. And I think that is where we are headed if Parliament doesn't start to push back on these laws.